we find no purpose in what we are studying we feel like trapped sitting inside the classroom so education is not just about learning only when you hit that ball that is difficult to hit then people will say you are fantastic hmm? <laughs> We find no purpose in what we are studying and <laughs> and we feel we are studying just for the sake of marks and uh, we feel uh, most of the times we regret for the decisions that we have made. We feel like trapped sitting inside the classroom. We want to go outside, explore the world, learn and do a lot of things outside the classroom. But we are also scared. If not studies, what else to do? If not studies, what should, we, what should we be doing in our life? How to get rid of this confusion? <laughs> well, uh, once you have made your education about marks, you want to be ahead of somebody else. You want to be on top of the pile. Once you made it like this, you being miserable is natural. You should be. I would be very disappointed if you're not miserable <laughs> because you are trying to see that how everybody is beneath you, you must be miserable. Education is about an opportunity to explore things that you may not meet on the street. This does not mean you have not seen the street, of course you've seen the street, you have explored it, you did not find e anything except plastic bags, filth, uh, cigarette butts and this and that, you didn't find anything more than that, right? Hello? On the street. So that is why you came and sat in the class. But because you have chosen something which doesn't mean anything to you, you have chosen something because somebody told you, if you do this course, you will get a better job. Again, you want to be better than somebody, that's all. When you invest your life in doing something that you don't care for, in my opinion you must be miserable. Otherwise, what is the point of making the choices? What is the point of investing our lives in something that matters to us? Because when we invest our life in something that matters to us, it may not be recognized by the world, you may not get good marks for it, but you are investing in your life what to… to what? really matters to you. Well, at this stage in your life, if you've not figured out what that is, it doesn't matter. All you have to learn right now is, we call this sadhana, okay? In the spiritual parlance, this is called sadhana. What sadhana means is, the word sadhana literally translate as a tool. So this is about sharpening your tools, learning to use your body as a tool, learning to use your intellect and mind as a tool, learning to use your emotion and energy as a tool. Everything that you have should become your tools. That means they take instructions from you and do things for you. Right now, if you say, I'm miserable, essentially you can give it thousand reasons. Simply the basic thing that's happening is your intelligence is turned against you, that's all. Hello? If you remove half your brain, you will sit peacefully. Yes or no? So the problem is intelligence. Your own intelligence has turned against you. Now you can call it misery, now you can call it depression, now you can call it all kinds of things. You can give as many exotic names as you want. Essentially, your intelligence is not your sadhana. That means it is not in your hands to use it the way you want. It is turned against you. If you sit here, you're miserable by yourself. This means what? If you are with me and miserable, you can blame it on me. Sadhguru, it's because of you I am miserable, I am okay. But if you sit here alone and you are miserable, you are obviously in bad company, isn't it? Hello? So, this is one thing you must address. Education is not just about learning. All this learning business will be useless and meaningless in the next five to ten years. Once the machine learning comes, everything that you can learn in twenty years, one little gadget will know. Your phone can do ten PhDs a day. That's, a, that's what is going to happen in the next five to ten years. Because 
we have been misunderstanding memory as intelligence. Everything that you can do with your memory, a machine will be able to do better than you. So education is not just about learning, education is about learning to use yourself, y learning to use your body, your mind, your emotion, everything in a certain way. It's very important that you know how to remain focused on something that doesn't mean a damn thing to you. It's very important. <laughs> See, people who say that they lack concentration, ah, uh, they fall in love with the neighborhood somebody, oh, they're fully concentrated. <laughs> so it's not that they lack concentration, they say, I don't have good memory, show them a suspense thriller movie, every scene they will remember. So their memory is pretty good. Only thing is they have not learnt to use their mind in such a way, it doesn't matter what, they can apply themselves. If that is not there, you will mo not make a headway with your life. All the time world will not be throwing the kind of ball that you want to hit. Do you understand? When you go and stand at the cricket pitch, <laughs> they're not going to throw the ball, the kind of ball that you want to hit, they will throw that ball that you cannot hit. <laughs> yes or no? Only when you hit that ball that is difficult to hit, then people will say you are fantastic. Hmm? <laughs> Otherwise you will be playing baby games all your life. I will do only what I like, I'll do only what I like. So why do you decide what you like and what you don't like? Whatever the hell you have to do, do it with full on, whatever, it doesn't matter because this is not about learning, this is about learning to use yourself in the best possible way, learning to use your body, your mind, turning this into your tools that you have the handle in your hands. Otherwise, if you leave it loose, this mind can cause you so much pain, you don't know. Now you… this is a time of your life where you learn how to use your mind the way you want, not about what I like and don't like. Whatever is needed, I can do with my mind. This is your mind. Your mind does what it likes. This is not your mind, isn't it?